Hi, this is Vladan from Asset Virtualization Blog. In this video, we're going to install and configure VMware LogInsight 4. This uh, release uh, of LogInsight has been released already in November um, last year, but we haven't deployed it in lab, so that's why we are creating this video to deploy it in our lab. We take extra small just for lab deployment we choose the data store and the storage policy we pick the thin provision disks then what we need to pick is the network and we also need to specify the network configuration details DNS, DNS domain search pass default gateway and uh, host name and also the static IP address and the netmask and below there is also two other properties is the root password actually which is the most necessary one. As a size public key, we don't need to do that. Uh, I think we're gonna pause the video and come back when the VM is deployed. Okay, the VM just finished deployment and uh, watch out because there is uh, another reboot after you power on the VM. So you power on the VM, it configures few things and then it reboots by itself. So after the second reboot you can only log in to the web interface by simply going to the web page. Here you can have option to join existing deployment or start a new deployment. We are starting new deployment, but if it was the case to deploy another login site node, you would simply do this there. Here we just put admin credentials. We not specify the email settings for now. License K, we're gonna do it later and the uh, email settings also we might do it later we must test the NTP servers it takes a little bit of time I cut the video a little bit and here also we will do it later we just skip this the email setting which can be done through the admin UI so here we going to integrate our vCenter server. You can put in uh, FQDN or IP address of your vCenter server. Then uh, username and password. Um, it's the default vSphere local like this we don't have problems with the connection and the rights to connect successful okay and we need to set up what we're gonna collect collect logs from vCenter server but also from ESXi hosts in my environment I have three or four ESXi hosts so I can configure which one I want to do collect logs and which why I don't so I check all of those but I know I have a problem on one of my hosts which is actually refusing to take the parameter for uh, logs to be collected elsewhere so I'm gonna see an error here but I know about this here well this is not a problem I'm gonna figure it out later just click OK 
and uh, basically we are done with the configuration so we can go and have a look in the system monitor and we will see nice UI which will inform us about the CPU consu consumer memory consumption CPU storage etc etc if we would deploy a cluster then we would see all the nodes in here but we only have one node so that's it access control is basically you can add another user but what we do first we will add some content packs directly from within the login side UI you go to the marketplace and you can uh, add uh, content packs provided by VMware and VMware partners by default there is only the VMware vSphere content pack installed so we will install other content packs for vSAN but as you can see this one is not updated yet to the vSAN 6.5 so I don't think it will go it will work with our vSAN 6.5 which is running in our lab horizon view and uh, I think this will be fine we don't need to install anything else I don't know for which reason we cannot install the third party content packs but it doesn't matter you see the point you can deploy easily content packs you can execute queries afterwards but um, for now I think that we will not be able to do anything because we didn't apply a license so what we do next I will apply a license and I'll come back okay here we go we have a license applied to a product and we can see some nice charts and some nice uh, UI and events but to really start to work with log inside you'd have to read the manual and check out how to properly create queries and how to learn the product thank you very much for watching bye bye